Welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner related videos, art journal videos, DIY tutorials, and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I load a new video. Commenting, liking, and sharing this video on your favorite platform does help my channel grow and would be truly appreciated. All right, so we're going to be working in my Hobonichi Weeks 2020 art journal. And uh, the other day, maybe two or three days ago, I was watching Kelly from Insight Hope 99. I'll link her channel below. And she was working. I believe in her Hobonichi day free planner thingy. Uh, planner. <laughs> There's nothing thingy about it. Um, one, I am quite intrigued by the day free Hobonichi. I didn't even know it was a thing until I'm like, wait, what did she say? How come? Wait, what? It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's beautiful. And I'm in love with my own Hobonichi, so that might be something I'll look for about getting in the future. But where I'm going with this is she had this watercolor set um, from, I want to say it's the same brand. I want to say it's the Gambai Kurataki. Now, this definitely is a Kurataki, um, but this is different from what she had because hers was a palette of like, I don't know, 36. 25, I don't know. There was a lot of different colors, but I have my Koi and I like my Koi. So I didn't want to buy another palette because I mean, I don't need another palette plus space is at a premium. But I thought, well, I mean, I don't think that I have these colors. And more importantly, this has like metals. So I'm like, well, okay, I'll get these three because they came as a bundle. And it's the starry colors the pearl colors and the gem colors. And I thought I could get rid of the packaging, but um, they don't they don't have a cover. So when I'm done with it, I can just, oh, well maybe I can find something to put these in. I didn't realize they weren't stuck down, but yeah. I, I'll, I'll need to keep it in here until I can figure out what to do with these. But I thought I'd play with these today and just test the colors out, uh, do some art journaling, and just play with my stuff. But yeah, I saw hers, and really, it was the it was the metallics that really was like, okay, I'm not even gonna think about this. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it from Amazon, and here we are. Now it does have the number of the colors. So I'm pretty sure I could look online to see what they're called, but. In the meantime, I'll just come up with names on my own. I'm going to kind of surround myself with this and get situated. Alrighty, so I'm just on a random page in the back where the, the note section is because there's, there's no writing on this. And I'm just going to do some swatches of the colors. Now, I'm actually limited on the brushes. This is what I have, and so this is what I'm going to use. <laughs> So if you are a watercolorist or someone who does art or whatever, and this makes you cringe, I am so sorry. <laughs> I just want to see. Actually, you know what? Let me write down the numbers. Uh, I'll finish writing the numbers that are on here down, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I just uh, wrote down the numbers, the colors, and then I, I messed that up, but I'm just going to leave it because that does not bother me. And uh, I don't know if you caught it, but these two are exactly the same. But I think, nope. So these two are the same, just based on the number. And then 903 and 903 are the same. But those are the only doubles that there there are. So 903 is doubled. I mean, it doesn't matter, but 
just yeah <laughs> all right so we'll start with 906 and because it is white or silver I don't know if it'll actually show okay well that definitely is a color so 762 that's nice On the pan there definitely seems to be like a pearly aspect to it. I'll have to wait till it dries. Yeah, that's definitely like a clear because there is definitely some shimmer action going on. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna do this down the line and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. Alright guys, so that's my swatches. Now, honestly, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but it doesn't seem like the paint wants to come up from this. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to watch some YouTube videos that use these specifically to see, do I let the water sit? I don't, I don't know. Cause when I put water on the koi ones, it seems to lift the color right up. Or maybe these are supposed to be more translucent. Um, but yeah, it just, it seems like I have to swirl really hard to get the color. But again, I've never actually watched anyone use these, so. There is that, and this is still a little wet, and yeah, there definitely is shimmer to these colors, which is actually really nice. And I, I kind of thought when I saw them, but this one here, which I believe is the gem color one, the, these are my favorite colors here of the whole set, although, I mean, I like them all, but those are, the, are my favorite. So let me put this here. All right, so I think for today's art journal, we're gonna work on this one here. I have some thoughts about the other one there, but I think I might need to put them together more in my head before I start on this one. So let's do this one here. Now, as I'm gonna do with these art journal videos, I won't talk through it because um, Honestly, I can't think and talk at the same time. And I know I go a bit mindless because I'm just, you know, doodling or, or whatever. But I, yeah, I just, I can't talk and do it at the same time. So I will turn on some music. Uh, depending on how long it goes, I might speed it up. I, I might not. It's more so, um, so if you're on Instagram or whatever, you can get a false sense of how long something takes. <laughs> and so while that's good for viewing purposes, I think sometimes people get discouraged with themselves because it just seems, you know, on Instagram or even in YouTube where people speed things up that, well, I mean, that just came together in, in no time. I, I don't know why it's taking me so long. So I like keeping the actual length of things, even when I'm not talking, just so that you can see, you know, it, it takes a minute and it probably takes them a minute as well. And yeah, that's just my own personal style and philosophy on this. But once I'm done doodling and probably doing a little bit of journaling, I'll bring you guys back.
All right, guys, so this is me done. Now, this one I think went rather well. And when I was doing it, when I was painting it last week, um, that's really what I had envisioned this to look like. This, um, when I started with the purple, I felt I needed to keep with the purple the way that I was doing it. It was very, you know, even what you could call it. And then I just continued and I just, I hated it. <laughs> I absolutely hated it. So I thought, well, I mean, it's not like a planner spread where I'm going to have to look at it the whole week. I could just avoid it altogether. But I'm like, okay, no, no, no. Why, why would I need to do that? So I washed it all out. Um, and most of the pens, like the paper mate flare, the fine liner, yeah, they are water based. So if I had done it in the micron, then you'd still see everything. Um, but because it was a water based pen, it just sort of erased. I mean, you can still see some of it, but to me, it's not as bad as it was originally. And I thought, well, I don't like it just like that, and I don't want to draw again. And I do love this stamp, and I did pick this up at a big sale at work and then really um what this was journaling about was this where and I, it says i didn't like where it was going so i changed direction i'm still not sure i like it i'm still not sure i like where it went but either way i had the option of choice go forward sideways or just stop and go somewhere else it isn't about perfection or ig worthy it's about letting yourself play but I do like this one. <laughs> All right, so this is me for this week. And then I just, that, that flower stood out, so I wanted to bring it up. And I don't hate it. I don't love it. But I did enjoy the challenge of it because it really just was going wrong. And it just kept going wrong. And I thought, no, no, I, I can deal with this. I, I, I can deal with this. All right, guys, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.